checking out Soccer in the Classroom. Before we dive in, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way you can get the latest videos and updates on our page. Let's dive in. Some of you may be wondering, Mr. Kasaboom, are we gonna be playing soccer in the classroom with a soccer ball? No way, we would get into so much trouble. Kicking a soccer ball around, we'd probably lose recess for the rest of the year. But not today, my friends. Since we're gonna be in the classroom, we decided to use something else. Some of you know this phrase, you get what you get and you don't get upset. You got it. So today, we're gonna to learn how to play soccer in the classroom by using a piece of paper. Here goes nothing. Before we start, I need you to grab a piece of paper. It could be a newspaper, a piece of magazine, nothing too crazy, just what you have. Because again, we get what we get and we don't get upset. You got it. So take your paper and we're gonna crumble it up into a ball. Notice there's nothing special about it. It's just a paper ball. So you might say, how am I gonna learn how to play soccer with a paper ball? Well, let's see. If I kick this ball throughout the classroom, could I maybe damage something in the classroom? Of course not, it's a piece of paper. What if I accidentally hit someone with my soccer ball? Will they get hurt? No, it's a piece of paper. What if I use this paper soccer ball in the classroom Will I still be able to learn the tools that I need to learn how to play soccer? Of course. So let's go. One of the biggest things that players tend to do and learn at an early age, they like to kick the ball using their toe. If you'll notice in this video here, you'll notice that this student went from using his toe and thinking, I can't use my toe, I need to use something else. And that, my friends, is where we learn point, click, squish that bug. You'll notice here that our student's toe is pointing in the direction that they want to go. Then they're gonna use the other foot by using the inside to click or kick the ball in that direction. And you'll also notice in this video, the other player is using what we call squish that bug. We imagine that there's a bug before the ball and as it comes in, we squish the bug right before the ball comes as it hits the inside of the player's foot. So whether you're in the classroom, in the gym, or on the soccer field, it's always a great time to learn soccer. 